Hey everybody. Um, uh, Whoop Within, episode five. Okay, uh, okay whatever. All right, let's get into this, honey. Last time on Whoop Within, Adrian finally gave into her hunger and ate an entire bowl of porter- porridge within a minute. Porridge. <laughs> Let's see what happens in this episode and see if Adrian can continue to eat or not. Not that the fuck she followed you, the choice that I gave her last time, but whatever. Good morning, dear. How did you sleep? I slept better knowing that Adrian ate something last night. I know what you mean. Hey guys, Kai, how are you? I'm doing well considering I finally got my uh got my mate to eat something. That's right. Tell us how uh, that went last night. Well, I thought, well, I just uh, thought of what Morgan said earlier about Adrian not being uh, used to our meals. <sighs> That's right. She thought our meals were too much for Adrian to eat handle. Exactly. So I figured that I would downplay her meal. What do you mean by that, huh? I just told her that everyone already ate and the uh, food was left over for her. You gave her leftovers? No, Mom. I wanted her to think it was. I figured that with her pack, with her uh, weight, her pack probably didn't care about feeding her. And if they did, they most likely gave her whatever was left. That's awful. But I don't think that that was the worst of it. What do you mean, Kai? Later on, asked me something that made me very concerned. She asked me what, uh, what she had to do to get the food. Wait, what? You don't think. I think it means just that. I'm not sure what extent, but she was surprised when I didn't make her do anything. That's so sad. I don't know for sure, but I wouldn't be. Uh, but it wouldn't surprise me. I see what you waited to tell me. Well, I may have also lost it last night and not have been able to actually tell you. <laughs> last night. <laughs> After mind leaking with my, his father and giving him the good news, Kai began thinking about how Adrian acted towards him. What was she talk, talking about? Did they, um, did they make her do something in order to eat? You don't think. Okay. Kai's point of view. Thoughts started to run through my mind and I slowly began to uh, be more aggravated. I think that's what it said. My wolf was not happy about what I was thinking, and I could hear him growling in disapproval. I know that at this point, my eyes were probably g- glowing gold. He's, he's growing. <laughs> they had absolutely no right. Even though he didn't know what actually happened to Adrian in her past, his thoughts continued to wander. That only um, enraged his wolf further. Soon Kai could no longer hold back his wolf. He felt his nails engulging, well, engage to, uh, elongate to, into claws. Um, while his teeth sharpened his canines, he quickly pulled his shirt off and his shirt and pants off before he ripped through those two from changing. Unlike most of his changes, this one was, this one ended up being forced due to his emotions. And that only made the change more painful. He curled up on the floor as the change quickly spread. His spine started to crack and stretch. Bones that physically ceased one way shifted into their new positions. A tail sprouted and a stunning black coat covered him. Soon, Kai was standing in on all fours, pacing about his room, howling. <laughs> Back to this morning, kid. Sorry, I know uh, you told me to calm down, but it's okay. I understand you and your wolf being concerned over your mate. To be honest, you've done a good job staying in control for this long. Thanks, boss. You still should have lost it. Honey, you have a lot to deal with, and you didn't go after uh, and attack anyone. Yeah, you're right. Uh... Now go relax. You know that you have to start working on your paperwork again soon, and we need you to level your and we need you level-headed. 
Do you really think, wait, do you really have to make him worry about this work at this time? Like this? If that boy is going to take my place one day, he needs to learn what take, what it takes to be alpha. I don't want to do this, but his work is already stacking up. It needs to get done. You're such an enforcer. That's my job. I love him. Well, I, I know. Love him. To be honest, I wish that I didn't have to make him. That food last night was so good, girl. Oh, I hadn't had normal meals in ages. And I can't believe that I didn't have to do anything to get it. Girl, knock, knock, knock. Yay, turn up. Yes. Well, yeah, yes. Good morning. M morning. Girl, you always fucking stuttering. Um, I bought you some clothes. You probably need some, right? Yeah, yeah. Morgan smiled at Adrian, and uh, she laid the clothes on the uh, down on the bed. Bought you a couple of outfits to choose from. We can go shopping for more once you fully recover. Oh, okay. Well, that's all. Please change, and someone will bring you some food. Morgan gave Adrian a smell and left the room. These clothes are very nice. I can't wear them, can I? Okay, maybe I'll just try them more. What am I in the mood for? Let's see what's popping. Let's see what's he popping. Hey, I should try something else. Wait, should I wear this outfit? No. Let's see the rose dress. No, I think definitely should try something else. And let's see what this one is, you guys. Because I think, hell no, man. Fuck that. Hell no. Put them fucking shorts on, girl. That's cute. You ain't about to do shit. You probably ain't about to see nobody. Perfect. Who's knocking? <sighs> that looks good on you. Oh, thank you. Here, I bought you something to eat. And you look down and stare at the plate what Morgan held out for her. A plate of fruit? It looks safe enough. That food that I ate last night was fine. It didn't seem like it was drugged. Maybe that was to gain my trust. And they did something to this plate. Adrian, just eat it. You need to gain your strength. But they could be tricking me. <laughs> As your wolf, I'm telling you to eat. I don't sense anything wrong with this meal. After thinking about what her wolf said, Adrian took the plate from Morgan and bought a piece of pineapple to her mouth. The juice... And sweet flavor spread across her mouth. This is good. So sorry. This girl really lacks confidence, doesn't she? No need to apologize. I'm glad, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. I haven't had fruit like this in a really long time. This poor thing. <laughs> Not she's a poor thing, baby. I probably shouldn't stay over, uh, overstay my welcome. Well, enjoy the rest of your fruit. Call me if you need anything. If you're not, I said Morgan left. This is really good, if it's for the view. I ate the fruit like my life depended on it, baby, but I tried to enjoy it. The sweet juices saturated my mouth and tickled my tongue, honey. The fruit I was given at the pack tastes nothing like this. In fact, I'm not sure if it was even edible. Not you was eating rhymes, girl. But living in this, that house, I ate what I could to survive, baby. As I finished the fruit, I looked up from my plate and saw the reflection in the mirror. As I stared at myself, I saw a little smile reflecting back at me. Now there's something I haven't seen in a little while. Another week passed by. Adrian was slowly gaining weight and continued to eat meals that were brought to her. Until one day... No, I'm so tired of staying in this room. Maybe it's time for me to explore. Girl, you gonna wear that hat to explore? Girl, you should have known you was going to run into your boo. So, I started to look over some of those papers. Kai, Dad, you look like you've seen a ghost. Look behind you. Adrian, hi. The dining room went silent. Everyone stopped eating and stared at Adrian. Um, would you like to join us? Adrian hesitated at, uh, hesitated a moment, looking at each wolf sitting at the table. Sure, if you don't mind. Of course we don't mind. 
guy in front of you. I stood up and got Adrian into the seat next to mine, of course, because you're so bossy. <laughs> All the while, I could feel my wolf grinning a wolfy smile. <laughs> he was ab obviously happy to have his mate join. I also was fairly happy that she decided to join us. It's been over a month since I met her and we're finally having a breakthrough. But I knew that if she was still fragile, I had to play this out still. What, what, what do you mean? Oh, what, uh, would you like to try something? Can I have some eggs? Of course. Kai's point of view. Kai loaded my plate with full of eggs. This is too much. I look back up at him and he's just smirked at me. Don't give me that look. LOL. <laughs> now he said LOL. <laughs> you need to eat more. You're still too skinny for my taste. What do you mean? It's just like I said, you're you're a little too skinny for me. I like my mate to be healthy. You still need to add some weight on. But I shouldn't eat all of your foods. Not right. Eat. Mm. Right now, bitch. Not you, not you the boss, girl. Not you giving out commands, girl. <laughs> Adrian could see the determination in his eyes. And from the tone of his voice, she knew that he was commanding her to eat. Reluctantly, she gave in to his wish and started eating. All the while, Kai sat in his seat looking content and proud of himself that his mate had joined them. <laughs> he ain't did shit. Everyone began eating again. So the loner is staying here in the house? How is that possible? Morgan, don't tell me that you're okay with all of this. Of course I am. And what are you doing in the house? It's the pack house. I'm allowed. But Alpha informed everyone to stay out until he said otherwise. Well, I'm not everyone. Cool it with your attitude. Kai has found his mate. And I don't think he'd be happy with you sneaking around here. Who's to say that she's his mate and someone else isn't? And I'm not sneaking around. I'm part of this pack. Julia, you have to... Well, you should leave. Morgan glared at Julia until she put her hands up and surrendered. Calm down, Miss Mighty Tracker. I'm leaving. <laughs> Don't enter this house unless you ask Alpha or Kai first. Gosh, that girl has issues. Let's see what's popping. Who's got issues? Julia. I see. What is she doing in the house? What do you think? Keep an eye on Adrian if you, if uh, she's around. If you look at the Kai, don't worry. I'll watch her. I know you will. Kai, why don't you take Adrian out? That's a good idea. She's been cooped up in uh, this house for quite a while. Adrian tilted her head in confusion at Kai and Morgan's conversation. Out to where? Like, right, bitch. <laughs> out to get some more clothes. Uh, Adrian stared at her blankly. <laughs> <laughs> you need more clothes. Why don't you take her to the mall? You're right, she doesn't have much. Let's go get you some more clothes to wear. Oh, okay. Great. Morgan, let my parents know that I took Adrian out. I will. Have fun, you two. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Who would have thought that he ended up with someone so shy and cute, girl? Yeah. Have fun yeah. and don't try... And don't try anything with her. I want to shut up. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm not always, I love messing with him. <sighs> what does Julia mean by Adrian's not being Kai's mate? Why is Julia so against Adrian? Well, Kai and Adrian have a nice uh, outing. Find out what happens next on Wolf Within. And you guys, I know that's not her name, but I like to call her that because it's better than an ugly ass night. Hey, turn up. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy. And I'm going to do another one, but not the one. Then I'm going to do something else, a different episode.